Do you really need lithium batteries? And how much capacity do you need? Will lead acid batteries serve your needs? We're going to explore those issues and more in today's episode. We're talking about RV energy systems and we're starting right now. Hi everyone, Neil Balthaser here and welcome to Ultra Mobility Reviews where I give you an honest review of RVs that you vote for. So this week you switched it up on me by a wide margin. You voted for me to review not an RV, but RV energy systems. Sounds like fun, so let's jump right into it. Let's start off with the most basic system setup available today. This is the setup that you'll find as stock on many RVs. In this setup, you're likely to see at least two 12 volt, 100 amp hour lead acid batteries. You're also likely to see at least a 1000 watt inverter so that you can power your basic AC appliances. And you'll see a gas, diesel, or propane generator because your battery bank isn't big enough to run big appliances like your rooftop air conditioning unit. Optionally, you'll see offered at least 100 watts of solar as it's going to help you keep your batteries topped up. This setup is ideal for people who don't use a lot of energy, but also don't want to spend an arm and a leg on big battery packs and expensive electrical components. Your limiting factor here are the lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries don't like to be discharged to below a 50% charge state. That means with two 100 amp hour batteries, you have something more like 100 amp hours available. Now, what can you do with 100 amp hours? Well, let's do some quick math. If you have a compressor refrigerator, it draws around five amps and it's on maybe 75% of the time. So that's an average draw of about four amp hours. Let's say for convenience sake, you like to leave the inverter on. Well, the inverter draws around three amp hours. And then you have draws for all the other stuff on like your smoke detector and your LED lights and your color touchscreen panels, etc. So that's probably around two amp hours. So that's around nine amp hours total. And if you have 100 amp hours to play with, that means that you can run off your batteries for a bit over 10 hours before they're depleted and you need to recharge them. In every setup, the more usage that you can offset from the batteries, the longer that you can go on battery power. So let's say you have a three-way propane refrigerator instead of a compressor-driven one. That removes four amp hours from the total of nine amp hours, or around half your power consumption. It means you can go about twice as long on your batteries, and it's the reason why RV manufacturers use three-way refrigerators. We can also put energy back into our batteries with solar. So let's say you have a 100 watt solar panel. In good sunlight, you can expect it to contribute around 30 amp hours on a good day. That's about a third of your power consumption. Now the benefits of this setup are its simplicity and low cost. Anyone can use it and if there's ever a problem, you can pretty much service it yourself since AGM batteries are readily available at Walmart and even Amazon. The disadvantages of this setup are you can't run your AC without being plugged into shore power or running your generator. And you do have to think about and be conscientious of your power usage. Moving up the energy ladder, let's talk about lithium. Lithium batteries replace lead acid batteries and have the advantage that they discharge deeper and can recharge more quickly. By way of comparison, while two 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid batteries effectively give you 100 amp hours of power usage, two 100 amp hour lithium batteries give you around 180 amp hours of power usage, nearly double. The lowest cost lithium system you can get into today is Pleasureway's Eco Ion Lithium System. It's essentially the basic setup we just talked about, 
but with 200 amp hour lithium batteries replacing the 200 amp hour lead acid batteries and a 2000 watt inverter replacing the 1000 watt inverter. Its setup looks something like this. Everything is standard except for the solar. So what can you do with this system? Well, since you have nearly double the battery capacity, you could theoretically stay almost twice as long before you need to recharge as compared to the lead acid setup we just talked about. Not only that, because you have an inverter that's twice as big, you can power your microwave off batteries, but you still can't power your rooftop air conditioning off your batteries. Still, this setup will probably meet 90% of most people's needs. The benefits of this setup are it's simple to use and highly serviceable. You can order replacement lithium batteries from Amazon and pop them into the EcoION system. And since you have two individual batteries, if one goes out, you're not stuck in the dark. You can continue to camp off your remaining lithium battery. Also, EcoION has a highly configurable and programmable remote start and recharging system for its standard generator. Built as AGS or automatic generator start, you can tell the generator and air conditioning to start when the coach temperature or battery state of charge reach a certain level. Additionally, you can explicitly tell it when it can and can't turn on. So for example, nighttime and early morning hours are not permitted. Best of all, the EcoION system is a standard feature across all PleasureWay products, so there's no upgrade cost. The biggest disadvantage is that you can't run your AC off the batteries, and you'll need to be plugged into shore power or run your generator. And unfortunately, the EcoION battery management system doesn't prevent charging of the lithium batteries in below freezing temperatures, which are bad for lithium batteries. So you're going to have to do this yourself via a manual disconnect switch. Next, we're moving on up the lithium ladder to 400 amp hours, which is the entry level for the Ecotrek system by Roadtrek. Ecotrek is a proprietary system and is composed of lithium battery banks that range in size from 400 amp hours to 1200 amp hours. At 1200 amp hours, it's the largest available lithium battery bank that you can buy. Ecotrek utilizes a secondary alternator attached to the engine to act as a generator to recharge the batteries. This eliminates the need for a separate generator. Also, Volt Start is Roadtrek's proprietary remote start system that can be programmed to automatically start the engine to recharge the batteries. Unlike the PleasureWay system, however, Volt Start isn't nearly as configurable and only triggers off the voltage level of your lithium batteries, which isn't the most accurate since lithium batteries discharge at an almost constant voltage. So it's hard to gauge your actual battery charge level using voltage. Also, it's not possible to restrict volt start from starting during certain times of day. One of the biggest challenges with volt start is its operational complexity. Each battery bank needs to be individually switched on and off for both discharging and charging. This means that if you forget to turn on a battery bank before running your AC on battery power at night, your neighbors are likely going to be awoken by volt start, remotely starting your engine to recharge. Also, if you forget to turn off unused batteries, you run the risk of draining them due to parasitic losses caused by the battery management system. But, and this is a big but, having the ability to individually control each battery bank on Ecotrek means that if one bank fails, you're not stranded without power. You can simply switch it off and continue using the other banks. This flexibility can't be underestimated. Finally, Cost is a consideration with Ecotrek. The 400 amp hour system is a $5,600 upgrade, but you have to add in the second alternator for 3,200 and 1,900 for remote start. The biggest advantage of the Ecotrek system 
is that it comes in varying battery capacities. You can start out with 400 amp hours, which is more than enough to cover almost 99% of your needs, including running your AC off battery power for very limited periods of time, not overnight. And all the way up to their warp core package, which is 1200 amp hours, more than enough to run your AC overnight without needing to recharge your batteries. Continuing our climb up the lithium ladder, we now arrive at the 600 amp hour level. Now this level of battery capacity is available from Coachman as their LI3 option and from Midwest Automotive Designs. Both systems are a rebranding of Xantrex Freedom EGen integrated system. Unlike Roadtrek's Ecotrek, the Freedom EGen system is not proprietary. It's built from standard off-the-shelf components, and the Freedom EGen system is comprised of a 600 amp hour lithium battery, a 3000 watt Xantrex pure sine wave inverter, which can deliver up to 25 amps of power, and a 280 amp 12 volt secondary alternator and up to 300 watts of solar. But unlike Road Truck and Pleasure Way systems, there is no remote start. The biggest advantage of the Freedom eGen system is that it isn't proprietary. It's not as serviceable or simple as Pleasure Way's Eco Ion system, but it's much more serviceable than Ecotrek. And it's also more simple to use because you don't have to manage individual banks of batteries. A downside of this design, however, is that a failure with the battery bank likely means you're without power until Xantrex can ship out a new one. It's not going to be as simple as switching off the bad battery like you can do with Ecotrek. The biggest disadvantage of the Freedom eGen is its cost. In the case of Coachman, it's a $22,000 upgrade. But you have to also take into account that the LI3 option results in the deletion of the 2000 watt inverter, 300 amp hours of lead acid batteries, the generator start module, and auto start, as well as the Onan generator, all of which you get no credit for. So the actual LI3 price is closer to $27,000 which is really excessively expensive. If you're finding this video useful, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and remember to hit that little bell to be notified when new reviews like this drop. The final stop on our climb up the lithium ladder is the Volta system, which powers Winnebago's pure lithium-3 system found on its Travato L series. Like Ecotrek and Xantrex Freedom eGen, the Volta system is comprised of a large lithium battery bank, a secondary alternator, and a powerful inverter. The battery capacity is rated at 8,700 watt hours, or around 800 amp hours at 12 volts. Larger than the Xantrek system, but smaller than the warp core package by Roadtrek. The alternator is 58 volts, which means it can completely recharge a depleted battery pack in a little under two hours of driving. That's faster than the 12 volt alternators used by Roadtrek and Xantrex. Finally, the inverter is 3600 watts, which is larger than both the Xantrex and Ecotrek inverters. And the inverter provides 30 amps of power, which is just like being plugged into shore power you're able to run almost all your AC appliances without needing to think about it. One of the biggest advantages of the Volta system is that it's not proprietary. It's built from off-the-shelf components made by Volta and other suppliers. That should give you a measure of confidence that the system is reliable and will perform well. But there are disadvantages to the Volta system. The first is cost. It's roughly $25,000. And because the battery pack is sealed, it's not very serviceable. If there's a problem with the battery, you're gonna need to take it into the dealer so that they can ship it back to Volta for diagnostics and repair, during which time you're not gonna have any power. So what's my final recommendation? Well, I think it's important to know your needs. For folks who wanna boondock for a couple days and are happy to run their air conditioning off the generator, then go for the basic lead acid battery setup. It's simple, serviceable, and won't cost you much money at all. For people who want to boondock for maybe a week 
that also want to use things like their microwave or coffee maker without needing to run their generator, and who also don't mind running their generator for air conditioning, then you should consider the Eco Ion system from Pleasureway. It too is simple, serviceable, and it's a standard feature across all their models. Now we get into some murky territory. I can't recommend Coachman's Li3 system because it's just too expensive. Once you take into account all the components they've removed in the upgrade, but for which you don't get any credit, you're going to end up paying somewhere in the neighborhood of $27,000. 600 amp hours is a lot, but it's not enough to allow you to run your AC overnight. And frankly, for $27,000, I expect to be able to run anything I want, anytime I want, without needing to recharge. Likewise, I can't really recommend the 400 amp hour EcoTrek upgrade from RoadTrek. You don't really get enough battery capacity to run your AC off batteries for more than a couple hours. And most of the time, you're gonna have that second battery bank shut off. That means you won't be needing the underhood generator or remote start. And I just don't see the need for paying $9,000 when you're likely not going to use half the system most of the time. If you've got upwards of 20,000 to 30,000 to spare, and you need to boondock for really long periods of time, or you need to run your AC off batteries for more than six hours, then your choices are limited to the Ecotrek 800 and 1200 amp hour upgrades, or the Winnebago Pure 3 system powered by Volta. It's really hard for me to recommend Ecotrek here. The 800 amp hour Ecotrek option is almost the same price as the Pure 3 system, but the Pure 3 system is powered by Volta, a newer, more capable, efficient, and advanced system. Additionally, Volta is not proprietary like Ecotrek. It's built by a company that has been building power systems for years using mainly off-the-shelf components. But the big win with the Volta system is its simplicity over Ecotrek. You don't have multiple battery banks to manage, so that means you can pretty much turn on the system and forget about it. Okay, that wraps it up. We'll see you again next week on Ultra Mobility Reviews, where I give you an honest review on the RVs and technologies that you vote on. Head on over to my community tab and start voting. The link's in the video description.